All right, it's not much. Still some lights for my balcony. And my little mini Christmas tree is all lit up as well. The nutcrackers are keeping guard. Okay, Vincent and Salvador are hanging out with the little penguin. And that's on top of the throw that I made a few years ago. It's draped over my couch. And let me go to my little table with Santa. It's hanging around with Juno, my penguin. And there's my other lit up tree. And this is an ornament I have left over from when I used to do the craft shows. It's a little knitting bag. You get closer, you can see little knitting needles. You make them out of toothpicks. You put a little bead at the top. And you actually can knit that little piece of uh, little fabric there, you know, little yarn. You put little balls, real little balls of yarn to resemble knitting bag. And this I mentioned when I was in South Carolina, when I went to one of the nature preserves, I was saying pine cones are over the uh, trail there. There was a lady who um, I ran across in New York when I lived there. She made little trees out of these pine cones. You just cut off the bottom so it sits squarely. And uh, you decorate with all little, you know, birds and little things. It's, um, um, you know, you can use your imagination. I thought it was really clever. I haven't seen any of them at any of the craft shows. So that's an idea for anybody if you do the craft shows. All right. And let me put on my infamous hat. And I'll get back to tell you the trivia today. So how do I look? You like my hat? Got it at the dollar store. So when I went through my Christmas stuff, I found my elf costume. Um, maybe I'll wear that closer to Christmas. I used to take um, country line dancing and they have a Christmas parade every year. I was supposed to be on the float last year to do the, Chris, the country line dancing. So I bought an elf costume. We were supposed to dress as elves, the Christmas elves. But um, it rained and I didn't want to be caught in the rain. So I didn't do it. Plus my son was coming down. I know, I chickened out. And I, I practiced all my dances. I was doing fine. So, Let's do trivia of the day. It's December 29th, 2020. Tomorrow is November 30th and then the 1st of December. I have to remember to pay my rent. So this is the question of the day and I bet you'll get it. Which singer helped fund the vaccine for the um, COVID-19? She gave a million dollar donation. The choices are Dolly Parton, Carrie Underwood, Celine Dion, Kelly Clarkson. Now, I had got that right away because I, I did not meet her personally, but a friend of mine did. And she always told me what a wonderful person she was. Dolly Parton. No surprise, right? I don't know. I've always liked her. Celine Dion, I never cared for. I know one of the people I worked with, she got annoyed at me when I said I didn't really care for Celine Dion. How could you not like Celine Dion? Well, she wasn't my cup of tea. You know? Anyway, so, birthdays. Don Cheeto, Cheater, is that how you pronounce his name? He was born in 1964, and Howie Mandel, 1955. So, I remember first seeing Howie Mandel when he was in St. Elsewhere, that TV show. And of course, he's on um, America's Got Talent. Shaved his head. Not like he used to have the long, 
curly hair. And unfortunately, this is the anniversary of the death of George Harrison, formerly of the Beatles. He died at the age of 58 in 2001. That was my mother's favorite Beatle. She always thought he was the best looking one in the way he was. I always liked Paul McCartney, but now I, I got older, I realized he was just a cutie boy, you know? Um, Harrison really basically was a better looking man, I think. But I'm still a big Beatles fan. Um, personally, I think George Harrison had the best songs after they broke up. He was the best solo artist. Even though Paul McCartney got knighted and everything, I still like George Harrison's music. So what can we tell you about George Harrison? His birthday is February 25th, or so he thought all of those years. He actually was born at 11.50 p.m. on February 24th. Just like my brother. My brother was born at 11.55 p.m. on February 3rd. And my mother, the teaser that she was, one year for his birthday, she made him wait till then. Because she kept saying, it's not your birthday yet. It's not your birthday yet. So five to midnight, we celebrate his birthday. I know, kind of mean, but. So George Harrison really was born closer to midnight the night before, but anyway, um, he could play 26 instruments. Amazing. Some people are just naturally talented. I played piano and I played the guitar and believe it or not, in high school, I played the trombone. Little me played the trombone. I cannot, I can read music. Some people can just um, hear it and play it. I can't do that. I wish I could. So um, if you set the music in front of me, I can play it. You know, a friend of mine always said that's like learning another another language, learning to read music. Maybe it is. I've had a lot of background in music therapy. Therapy. Theory. Theory. Jeez. Now if I could learn to talk. See, I should do a whole comedy return on mispronouncing words. That gives me an idea. Anyway, so he invented the Megastar Rock Benefit Concert with Bangladesh. The concert for Bangladesh. He raised more than $12 million. Now this is back in the 70s. Um, and whatever profits continue, they benefit the George Harrison Fund at UNICEF. He also uh, helped finance the movie The Life of Brian. He, fun he gave them $4 million because he wanted to see the million. He wanted to see the million. He wanted to see the movie. So he had mortgaged his home to come up with the money to mortgage the film. So of course, Monty Python, Life of Brian, I always like Monty Python. So that's about it for today's trivia. I don't have anything else. Um, oh, there is one thing I found out. Tears caused by sadness, happiness, and uh, from an onion look differently under a microscope. Did you know that? How do they test that? But I've only had it happen once to me where I was peeling an onion and I wound up with tears in my eyes. And I guess the other onions I've ever peeled, I guess they weren't as strong. But I never really had that problem. I you know, they say you're peeling an onion and you're crying. So uh, hopefully everybody's having a good day. I have a, quite a few things to do um, before uh, I go to sleep tonight. I did some shopping. I've got all my Christmas stuff up. And when I went through all my Christmas stuff, I realized I don't really have many Christmas earrings. So I bought a pack of Christmas earrings in Walmart, real reasonable. 
and I really could use a nice Christmas sweater. I didn't see one at Walmart. I'll have to look around. But that's about it. And uh, take care, everybody. And I'll talk to you later.